Merry meet everyone, Hawthorne Sagebrush here, and I'm here today to do a tarot spread that Hazel Autumnwood showed in one of her videos. Uh, it's titled 56, her 56 video, uh, Tarot Spread to Find Your Deities. And I promised Hazel that I would do this because I was just like, that's amazing, I need to make a reaction video of me doing it. So uh, the deck I'm using is this one, which is the Green Witch Tarot. It's got this uh, pentacle wreath that looks like it's on like a barn door. Sorry, it's a very shiny material, so it's kind of hard to get the right angle for you guys to see it. There we go. This is one of my favorite decks right now. It's so beautiful. I got it for either Yule or my birthday last year from a friend so very excited about that um so basically i'm going to shuffle uh the first card i bring up is going to be the number of deities that are with me on my path um i'll explain a little bit better as we go um but if you want if you want a really good explanation hazel described it very well in her video so i'll try and, and remember to link that in this description below Okay, so let's see. You got the Six of Pentacles. So it seems like there are six deities that are on my path with me. The first one we have is the Knight of Athames. Hmm. Wonder. And then the lady and the lord so i don't know okay <laughs> the two of pentacles the king of athames The Five of Athames. Hmm. And the Page of Pentacles. Now that is certainly a collection. Hmm. Now, the Five of Athames, in the background here, I see a peacock and a peacock feather. And that brings me to Krishna. This might be a representative of Krishna because uh, Krishna is shown with peacock feathers. I'm actually going to look in my book quickly. I'm, I'm still working with learning this deck, so it's a little harder for me to read it without anything. I'm gonna look at the uh, the aspects. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I think Five of Athames might be leading towards Krishna because of the peacock in the background. Hmm. Lady and the Lord just remind me of Kandanos and Morrigan. 
even though Morgan's a lot older than the lady there. But I work with Karen Oates and Morgan together. Um, so if you see here, So I think this is showing them together and because they're, it's a major arcana, I'm feeling like it's going to be a bit there a bit longer, like it's going to be a strong connection with Karanos and the Morrigan. That's what I'm feeling from this card. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. It's really... I'm feeling from the Page of Pentacles, I'm feeling Lou coming through because he's kind of a lord of, like a god of artists in a way. Bards, artists, also weather, but. Yeah, I'm feeling that kind of coming through here. Some of those energies. Yeah. And that's pretty much, this has covered everything except for Bridget, who I work with. Hmm. And I'm left with the King of Athames, the Knight of Athames, and the Two of Pentacles. See the fox? There's a fox and the Two of Pentacles, and there's a badger and the Knight of Athames. So I'm wondering if those have anything significant. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to look up badger symbol symbolism. Hmm. Hmm. Badger, keeper of stories. Bold self-expression, aggressiveness, single-mindedness, passion, cunning, revenge, perseverance, control, antidote to passivity or victimization. All right, I, I was wrong. <laughs> Knight of Athames, that is Morgan. Morgan is here with the badger. I know that her symbol is not the badger, but that is her. So I'm wondering who the lady is in Lady and the Lord, unless it's just, that's just Karen and Oz, and we're just kind of ignoring this side of the card. So for now, I'm just gonna say this is Karen and Oz, and it's being a little obvious with that. I mean, look, how is that not Karen and Oz? So we have Krishna in the Five of the Athames. We have Karen and Oz in the Lady and the Lord. We have Lou in the Page of Pentacles, and we have the Morrigan in the Knight of Athames. So, Two of Pentacles. We've got a trickster god because of the fox. Or goddess. We've got a trickster deity. 
with the fox there, I think. Um, I'm gonna look up fox now. Fox. Shape-shifting, cleverness, observational skills, cunning, stealth, camouflage, invisibility, ability to observe unseen, persistence, gentleness, swiftness. Hmm. Yeah, cunning. Hmm. So someone cunning, kind of a trickster vibe I'm getting from it. Yeah. Then the King of Athames. I really don't know about the King of Athames. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing Bridget anywhere unless she's with the Lady and the Lord. Unless that is her. Hmm. Because the King of Athames does not feel very Bridget. It doesn't feel right either. I'm going to see what the next card is. It's the Page of Athames. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's feeling more like the King of Athames should be the page. And just because the King of Athames doesn't feel right. It's not feeling right. So, page of Athames. And this is Bridget. I mean, look at this. Feels very Bridget to me. Mm-hmm. That owl. Look at that owl. So, because Hazel talked about how she got a card that did not feel right to her uh, when doing hers, and she just replaced it with a different card. And this does not feel right. There's something weird. There's something not right about this. So the page of Athames definitely feels a lot better. So kind of basically what I've seen here is we have Krishna, Kananos, Lou, the Morrigan, Bridget, and a trickster. No sweet clue who this is. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. It's an interesting spread. 
I'm not sure how accurate it is because I feel like I'm going to be working with a lot more than six deities throughout my lifetime. But maybe this, this is going to be for me deities who stick a little bit more. Because I work with Krishna, Karanos, Lou, the Morgan, and Bridget a lot in various ways. So it looks like maybe a trickster god will be coming through. Uh, but right now with Obot, I work with Kedadwen as well. So it's difficult to say. Definitely an interesting spread. Give it a try. See what it does for you. Uh, don't know how I feel about it. It's interesting. But some parts of it feel a little odd. A little, a little bit odd. I'm not sure. Worth a shot. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Blessed be. Bye.